Good evening. More snow is forecast tonight for the island after many woke to white today and others saw not even a dusting. But if you were one of those who missed the white stuff, you might see it in the coming hours. And as Bruce Kirkpatrick reports, forecasters say the winter like conditions are expected to stick around for at least a week. 300 meters altitude, South Shawnigan Lake turnoff, 11 last night. Snow falls along the Malahat portion of the Trans-Canada Highway. And the crews are ready. We uh, try to be here on top of it, uh, out here on, on shift, so hope the assault will keep up to it. It's just perfect conditions. It snowed into the early hours of the morning with accumulations of five centimeters up high. It is in sharp contrast to the city, not a flake to be seen. Greenery, pushing carriages, not shovels, not yet. But this guy shoveled out his driveway this morning. Winter has arrived in the highlands of Greater Victoria and was still snowing in the light of morning. Some side roads are slick with ice and snow. And while Victoria escaped the wrath, this time... What's coming? Colder air and a risk of snow. All week? Yes, the cold air comes down. It's already starting to push across the island now, moving into Victoria. It looks like it stays with us for the whole week, and that puts us under the risk of snow for the whole week. For the city? Even for the city. And says there's a system coming from the north which will pull Arctic air south and could be a snowmaker. But today, up high for some, it's picture perfect. A chance to record nature in January from the Malahat Lookout. It's so beautiful, so we had to get out and get some pictures and uh, show everybody at home. An eagle eye view of snow and trees. He's resting, maybe flying, is too cold. And this guy's not impressed either. A warm up with a cold topping, reminding us winter is not over. Maybe it's just begun. <laughs> 